What did the officials say when you got married? Not much. When gay marriage was legalized, we weren't sure if or when it was going to be struck down, so speed was of the essence. And do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. I remarked afterwards that I wish the O-ficient had been more efficient. <laughs> it was very funny. Kevin still talks about it. What's going on? A proper birthday dinner. Amy chose the restaurant. Captain. Oh, perfect. I've always wanted to come here. Boyle picked the menu. Vivian helped. Terry chose the champagne. I'm sorry about your party, sir. I tried to keep them in line, but I failed. Well, that's not your job. I'm only sorry you didn't get a chance to enjoy yourself. Gina has brought back all the silverware that she stole from your house. What? Also this clock. <coughs> Good heavens. This isn't ours. And my contribution will be to refrain from discussing The New Yorker for the rest of my living days. Thank you, Jake. You're welcome, Kevin. Call me Kev. Oh. Oh, he told you to say that, didn't he? Well, you are always playing pranks on me, Raymond. Just once, let me be the funny one. <sighs> and finally, it is my great pleasure to introduce the 99 Zone Detective Scully to serenade you. Mona tu sola, che bellogne, o sola mio, some from to te. This part always gets me. O sola, o sola mio. If I made Kevin this. It's warm. It's a croque, monsieur. Kevin and I shared one on a rainy afternoon in Paris on our first anniversary. It's one of our most treasured memories. Tell Kevin how you feel. It's raining. You could run to him. This is the real world, Santiago. Relationships end in unsatisfying ways every day. People don't run to each other in the rain. Raymond, hold! Kevin? Raymond! Raymond, am I too late? Too late? My friend saw your dating profile and your photo without collar stays. I thought I'd lost you. You will never lose me. I'll do anything to keep you. I'll compromise on everything, the work, the... Myers never fails. Now that we're doing it, it feels kind of weird to be staring at your friends while they kiss. Are you kidding? It's beautiful. I love you. I love you. Marriage is a contract. But it's so much more than that. Marriage is love. It's commitment. It's joy. It's understanding, it's patience, it's anger, it's reconciliation. It's everything. It's like oatmeal. It sustains you. Darlene, do you take Lynn to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Lynn, do you take Darlene to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Captain. That was some ceremony. It wasn't difficult. I simply said what I wish had been said when Kevin and I got married. Oh, well, then I never would have heard your hilarious efficient officiant quip. Mm, you're right. I regret nothing. Mm. But all this does make me think I might enjoy a more festive expression of our commitment to one another. Are you suggesting we hold an honest to goodness wedding? Mm, nothing too elaborate. We're not the Kardashian Wests, after all. They are a musician and a celebrity personality who recently wedded. Yes, yes, I know. They were answers on Jeopardy. I think you mean questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. We're having a vow renewal ceremony. This time, we're pulling out all the stops. It will be a truly extravagant affair. Oh, how extravagant are we talking? Champagne pyramid? Destination wedding? Celebrity officiant? We got the salad forks. Can you believe it, a second fork? Who do we think we are? <laughs> Oh, no. You're shocked at how garish it is. Now I don't even want to tell you the other surprise I have in store for Kevin. Wait, let me guess. You're getting bread plates? Don't be absurd. We're not crazy. There's a lot to do since we decided to go so over the top. I mean, look at the napkins. We're going with a pretty whimsical fold. Lengthwise. That is funny. The intent was whimsy, not humor. 
Now you have me doubting everything. Where's, where's Raymond? We're gathered here to affirm the marriage of Raymond Holt and Kevin Costner. We don't have to do this. Everyone who's not family has already gone home, and we need to hurry. No, this is important. Kevin Costner. When we first got married, I thought of it primarily as a legal contract, which is why I memorized the entire federal tax code 301.7701-18, definitions pertaining to marriage. And yet he can't remember Mac's name. But I finally learned what marriage really is. It's not something you can memorize or an equation you can solve for. It's the feeling you get when you look in your partner's eyes. And that feeling is all that matters. Which is why I will now purge Tax code 301.7701-18 from my memory so that I will have room to remember this moment forever. It's done. Over. Oh. Raymond Holt, do you promise to continue to live in this marriage for richer or poorer, through sickness and in health, as long as you two both shall live? I do. And Kevin... Cox. Yes, yes, we're still married. We really have to go. What do you have to say for yourself? The whole NYPD knows where you are, and they're coming for you right now. OK, thanks for the tip. Let's kill them both, get out of here before the cops come. Wait, no, 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 no. I was lying about the backup. I came alone, titled by sex tape. Doesn't matter. You're both going to die now. Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Sorry, I couldn't bring myself to call him a dirt bag. Then why would you? A dirt bag is a very useful part of the vacuum cleaner. Clearly, it's a compliment. Oh, you guys are so perfect for each other. Yeah, I stole those coins. Can't believe you bought that old story. They underestimated you, Randy, just as they underestimated Raymond Holt. Well, you guys haven't been that great to me either. Well, you gotta teach people how you want to be treated, Randy, Dr. Phil, RIP. The point is Captain Holt solved the case when no one else could. He's actually been stealing from these archives for years. You've been asleep at the wheel, Alistair. You're an embarrassment. Really? Well, at least I've never confused St. Augustine with Boethius. Oh, who gives a rat's ass about Boethius, Wesley? What are you doing, Kevin? I'm creating a kerfuffle. Oh, damn. Sure, my husband is a hot piece of ass. But he is so much more than just that. Raymond Holt is as smart as anyone in this department, but he chooses to use his intelligence to make our city a better place. One day, I hope to live up to the standard you set. You make me want to have a wetter brain. Oh, Kevin. Y'all are hella specific. <laughs>